Published, 6.45 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018, updated, 12.02 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018 The royal family gathered this morning for a traditional Easter Sunday service at the chapel where Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will marry on May 19th. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, expecting their third child within weeks, broke usual protocol by arriving after the Queen at the Easter Matins service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, the couple issued the downhill walk and took a royal car to the entrance, arriving several minutes after the Queen, who also arrived by car and was travelling without the Duke of Edinburgh, 96, who did not attend the service. Although Meghan and Harry also chose not to appear at the chapel where they'll tie the knot next month, the Queen, dressed in cerise, was joined by Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, with Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, Peter Phillips and Zara Tyndall all also in attendance for the seasonal service, arriving without husband Mike Tyndall and daughter Mia Grace, Zara did take the shore downhill walk, showing off her blossoming bump in a blue bespoke seraphine coat and hat by Jane Taylor as she chatted with Princess Beatrice, her sister Eugenie and husband-to-be Jack Brooks bank at the chapel's entrance. Scroll down for video bumps the word. Kate, 36, looked comfortable on a cold day dressed in a smart chocolate brown coat with matching velour pillbox hat and caramel-colored heels as she chatted with the Dean of Windsor at St. George's Chapel, Windsor this morning almost there, a heavily pregnant Kate, 36, and William, 35, share a smile as they walk behind the Queen and the Dean of Windsor at the end of the Easter matins. Service expected to give birth at the Lindo Wing at London St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington sometime this month or in early May, the Duchess looked in fine form as she joined other members of the royal family for the annual Easter service and Zara's blooming too. The 36-year-old, who attended without husband Mike and daughter Mia Rose, wore a bright blue coat with her own bump clearly visible as she chats to Princess Beatrice. Right, Zara appears to be keeping a close eye on the pavement as she heads to St. George's Chapel. The Queen leads her family from the seasonal service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor this morning, with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge following closely behind it is spring, honest. Hundreds of well-wishers lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the royals together. The Queen, in a striking cerise pink coat and floral dress, smiles as she accepts a bouquet of beautiful flowers from two little girls attending the Easter Matin service. Prince William is seen smiling behind his grandmother as he watches her accept the pretty posy from the girls, both dressed in floral outfits with Prince Philip thought to be nursing a sore hip at home. The Queen attended on her own but clearly enjoyed spending time with her family. The Dean of Windsor, David Connor, led the service, attended by the royal family every year, and strolled by the side of the Queen as she made her way out of the chapel earlier. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, just weeks from welcoming their third child, arrived at St. George's Chapel looking in. A buoyant mood they smiling look William, dressed in his Sunday best, looks on as Kate shakes the hand of the St. George's Chapel minister Sir Eyster. At the OTH, or end of the color spectrum, the Queen dazzled on a dreary morning in a bright pink outfit right, still in heels. An eight months pregnant Kate finishing the look with a pair of daring caramel-colored heels The Duchess of Cambridge, on sparkling form, steps out of the royal car as she arrives for the Easter Matin service striding forth. Peter Phillips, firmly clutching the hand of wife Autumn Phillips, walks alongside Jack Brooks Bank and Princess Eugenie, who are set to wed in October this year despite the inclement weather, the royals opted for spring color, with Princess Anne, far right, sporting a coordinated turquoise blue number. Meanwhile, Princess Eugenie mirrored her grandmother's pink, with a cerise cocktail hat London-based milliner Juliet Botterill. Hundreds of well-wishers lined the entrance to the Windsor Castle estate hoping for a glimpse of the royals on their annual spring outing, wearing a smart-looking chocolate brown coat. Kate, 36, who is due to give birth to her third child in London in a matter of weeks, looked comfortable and relaxed as she was greeted at the chapel with Prince William by her side. The couple left their two children, George, four and Charlotte, two, at home. Despite being eight months pregnant, the Duchess has yet to park her favorite heels and finished off her smart look with a pair of towering caramel-hued shoes and matching clutch purse. While the Queen attended the event without Prince Philip, it is not thought his absence is due to a serious health problem. The Duke was spotted driving around the grounds of the Windsor estate last week. Awaiting the arrival of the Queen to lead the family into the Easter service, Princess Beatrice, where